hello everyone welcome back to another video on our new account series so uh, in today's video we are going to talk a lot about a lot of things you know uh, but before that let's start off the video with the arena uh, now this arena character is a crappy one because we all know how dark supergirl is and she is one of the crappiest characters in the game not good at all uh, but at the moment, I'm on 13 victories, rank number 78, and 4.3 million points. And with a couple more matches, I think I would probably get onto the spot of legendary. Uh, but I think it's fine for now. You know, it's definitely fine for now. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to end on the higher rank in this season too. I'll also share you guys the rewards that I got in the last arena season when it ended. Now, as far as the arena store is concerned, let's buy some stupid shards. Not stupid, I'm sorry. Let's buy some shards for Redditor Batman over here. All right, there we go. There we go, one more. And we are good. All right, guys, let's do the same for this guy all right two more days two more days and this guy will be on five stars which is going to be great because i'll max out his passives and he'll be good to use in the raids all right all right so guys if you are new to the channel and if you are watching this video for the first time i would like to, to tell you to please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification for further updates on videos just like this. Alright guys, so I've completed all the difficulties over here and so far I have 76 shards for Batwoman the Drowned, which is insane by the way. <clears throat> you know, because, uh, yeah, you know, I think I did not miss any single day when since when this challenge started. So, uh, yeah, still have uh, 9 hours left, but I don't think we can play it again because the refresh in 16 hours. And we only have nine hours left for the whole challenge. So there is no point. There is no way we're going to get additional shards from here. But it's good to know that we have uh, Batman the Drowned at already at five stars. And uh, I also have a couple of gears for her. All right, guys. Now, moving on. I also actually played this challenge. I know this is, again, a crappy character. But and I've already played this challenge before. And I just thought that this guy might be useful in the in the arena and champions arena. So I just wanted to get him to four stars as quickly as possible. So we have the challenge now. I'm not exactly sure how many shards I got after playing the first attempt of the challenge day one. So uh, yeah, but I did get I think around 15 to 20 shards, which is okay by the way. All right, guys. Now moving on, moving on into the solo rage. I think you will be quite surprised because I'm almost down with two sub bosses over here. I still have to play these three attempts now. Uh, and my Harley Quinn actually also one shotted. I unfortunately did not record that video, but my Harley Quinn and Predator Batman and EPI are together one shotted boss Raiden with 8 million points, 8 million health. So that was definitely insane. And then I one shotted boss Hellboy with my King. Now, I might face a bit of an issue over here with Boss Sub-Zero, but I think with Shazam and King and with the, uh, you know, the Solar Raid Artifact, I can continue the combo and make sure that I, you know, do not, uh, you know, mess up over here. And it might take me more than a couple of pips to defeat Boss Sub-Zero, but I guess yeah, it's not going to be that. It's, it's going to be difficult, but not that difficult. And uh, this is also not that difficult. You know, with King and Shazam, this guy will be down in like one pip. But I don't think, yeah, I think I'm going to use King over here. All right, all right. So, moving on, let, let's take you guys to the Champions Arena because today is the last day for Champions Arena. And, uh, yeah, take a look at this. I'm on rank 13. I'm definitely going to get myself promoted to the next division. That is 100% for sure. And this is going to be might, the rewards, might shards, class shards, and a thousand gems. So I will have six thousand gems altogether. 
And then division 4 will give me additional 200 gems. And it's going to be the same amount of shards. It's going to be 30 shards now. And then it's going to be 50. And then it's going to be 10 prismatic. 60 plus 20 prismatic. And then 50 prismatic and 60 class shards. And 1800 gems. Which is a long way from here. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try my best to reach there. Reach here as quickly as possible. All right, all right, guys. Now let's take you guys into the store. We have changed the store. I mean, the store has been updated. So you know, guys, I just need your opinion on this. I'm basically thinking about starting a new series or basically a weekly update on these uh, chests that come in every week. So as far as I know, apparently, maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the chest, the store, get refreshed in uh, two two times every week. One is on Tuesday. And the other one is on Fridays. And in between there is a one or two chests, premium hero chests, which get changed. But mostly these big chests, uh, the legendary and these kind of chests, basically they come in twice in every week. Uh, they get updated twice in every week, which is on one is on Monday, uh, one is on Tuesday and one is on Friday. So if you want me to make uh, you know detailed videos, whether it will basically give you a review on the chests that are currently there at that point in the store. So you can let me know in the comments and I'll try to do that. At least I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload two videos every week uh, giving you guys the uh, review on the chest that have come after the refresh. So I might actually open this chest, Batman Who Laughs, basic chest. It looks good. There is 2% chance for Batman Who Laughs and then there is 5% chance for Arkham Knight Batman. Yeah, so I might... I mean, if even if I get Arkham Knight Batman, I might use him with the LOA team. I already have the other two characters, so this will be a win for me if I get him. If I get Batman who laughs, again, he's, he's a great character, as we all know. <coughs> and I already have uh, Batwoman the Drowned, so that, that's going to have like a team for me. The Dark Knights team, basically, the Dark Metal teams, whatever we call that. Uh, anyway, so the other chests in the store, there is the Justice League team chest as well. But this chest is going to give you all the Justice League characters. In total, this is like 16% uh, chances. But you might either get Justice League Batman, you might also get Mythic Wonder Woman. You know, apart from these two, all the other characters are good. And then we have the other shards over here. So if you want to get these Justice League characters bad, we can open this chest. But mostly, you know, mostly apart from Cyborg, all the other characters and Justice League Superman, you can get all of them from the uh, Arena Rewards. So think and then invest. But I think it's not that bad. The cost is a little bit high. You know, 500 gems is it's a bit high, I think. And apart from that, all the other chests are crap. So please don't open them. Alright guys, now finally, let's take you guys into the roster. So I did upgrade my uh, multiverse armored Supergirl. Supergirl. I think I might have a few more resources to upgrade this thing. Yeah. Let's upgrade it once. Let's try. Now, nope. you know what? I'm just not going to say. I'm going to save more of these reforges and then, you know, basically try to put on some gear effects together at once. But yeah, apart from that, everything else is the same. There are no big changes over here. You know, I might have a few. The gears over here from the challenge. I'm going to shatter them eventually. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a like and let's meet again in the next one. Until then guys, you have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Be blessed and stay safe. Have a good one guys. Bye-bye.